Good evening. We begin tonight remembering Trey Ruff. He's the 17 year old Chapin student who died earlier this week at his home. Tonight, members of the community gathering together for a memorial service to honor and remember him. News 19's Nate Stanley takes us there. The service filled the stadium behind me. People here I spoke to say that Trey's passing came as a surprise and described him as a loving and caring friend. A moment to reflect and remember the life of Fabian Douglas Ruff, known as Trey. The 17-year-old was a defensive lineman for the Chapin football team heading into his senior season when he suddenly died on Tuesday. His coach, Justin Gentry, says Trey impacted so many lives and a hole is left in the Chapin community. Um, just the amount of people that he touched, um, the, the, the heart that's, that was right there, that you know, he just loved everybody. And then, you know, it's hard to explain unless you knew him. And, and, um, you know, he's going to leave a, a place in my heart. His memorial service was heavily attended by friends, family, and district staff. Outside of the Eagle Stadium, his team photo sat covered in flowers and pictures. During the service, Gentry and Trey's defensive coach spoke about him and the impact he had on their lives. And think about Trey and think about his legacy. It's hard not to put a smile in. Cheryl Mars, a coworker of Trey's father, says she only ever heard great things about Trey. And he has been nothing but nothing but all his dad talked about. Just stand up guy, very nice, easy going. Gentry says he'll miss Trey's smile in team meetings throughout the season. Just just his smile and like his girlfriend said, his, his dimples when he smiled, he just lit up the whole room. Gentry took a moment at the beginning of his speech to read some words that Trey's teammates used to describe him. Selfless, true, vibrant. Optimistic, sunshine, good hearted, great, loyal, blissful, valuable. Mars says she hopes those watching will hold their families close and remember the short period of time we have together. Reporting in Chapin, Nate Stanley, News 19, WLTX. And we're being told tonight that the football team will honor Trey before kickoff at tomorrow night's football game, which gets underway at 8 o'clock.